This is a story about a princess. Once upon a time, there was a little princess, and the princess did not have any brothers or sisters. She was all by herself, and she didn't really mind because when you don't have any brothers or sisters, you don't know what it's like to have brothers or sisters, and you don't really know what it's like to miss them. Some people are very lucky, and they have. One or even two brothers and sisters, and then they really know what it's like to have a family. But some people don't get to experience that, and that is how this princess grew up. Now, this princess was a very, very nice little princess, and she always listened to her mummy and daddy, the king and the queen. And she always helped her mummy or a daddy, or a grandma or grandpa, with whatever they were doing. She would help them cook, help them clean, help them paint the castle. She would take out the animals and gather the fruit. She was a little helper actually. She went to school and she went to all the other extra classes that little princesses go to. Like violin, or recorder, or music class, or art class, because all little princesses go to those classes. But there was one thing that made this little princess sad. From when she was a baby, from when she could speak and talk, she wanted a horse to ride. Now her mummy and daddy said, "Don't be silly. You're just two years old. You can't ride a horse, because in those days, horses were very, very big, and only the knights who were chasing the dragons would ride a big horse." But this little girl, this little princess, always asked her mummy for a horse. In fact, I think horse. Was her first word that she spoke as a baby, horse, horsey, horsey. I think she said, "Mummy, horsey, please. I want a horsey." And as she grew up, and as her English or language got better and better and better, it went from just horsey, horsey, to, "Mummy, why can I not have a horsey now?" And so. The mummy, the queen, always had to explain and tell the little girl why, and every time she would tell her more and more reasons, like, "You're too small. Princesses don't ride horses. Only knights ride horses. It's dangerous. We've got nowhere to keep it. It's smelly. Who's going to clean it? What happens if you fall off? It'll run away." Only knights ride horses, and so he went on like this for quite a long time. But the princess didn't give up. She always was asking for a horse, especially around Christmas, and especially around her birthday. Mummy, can I have a horse for my birthday? No, you can't. Mummy, can I have a horse for Christmas? No, you can't. Mummy, it's my birthday again. Can I have a horse? Can you give me one of the knights' horses? Can I have one of the old horses that knight, the knights can't ride anymore because it's too old? No, you bloody can't," said the queen. "Ask your dad. Daddy, can I have a horse?" "Uh, what did your mum say?" She said no. "Well, no, you can't. Why?" "Uh, because." Horses are for knights and kings like me. Princesses don't ride horses. Why not? Oh,、uh, because, because you wear dresses. Well, I'll, I won't wear a dress then. I'll wear pants like a knight. No, you can't do that. Why? Because you're a princess. Well, I'll just wear different clothes then. And so she argued and argued. In fact, she wasn't really arguing. She was just challenging, and trying to get what she wanted. And eventually, 
When she was 12, her mommy and daddy finally, finally, finally decided to give her a horse. They found a nice old horse, like surely it's um, like <laughs> they found a nice old horse, like the princess had given them the idea, and it was a horse that the knights had used, but it was a bit too old to be fighting with dragons. It was a nice one. It was all white, with a brown spot just below its eye, and it was called Brownie. And Brownie was a rather slow, big, old horse. He'd been in lots of battles with the knights, and he'd had a fight with all kinds of dragons, and he'd actually burnt half of his tail off from a dragon fight, even though he was very tough. He was like a friendly little giant, and so Shirley went to meet him. I mean, the princess <laughs> went to meet him. I think the princess was called Shirley. What do you think? Anyway, the princess went to meet this old horse. And it was love at first sight because she just knew this was the horse for her. And the horse was so pleased to have a nice little girl that was going to look after him. Because he just had tough nights and was worried about going into fighting with dragons. And now he just knew he would ride around the castle all day and eat hay. And that's about it. Was he in for a surprise? Anyway. Shirley. I mean the princess. <laughs> oh my god. How am I? Let's just call the princess Shirley. Shirley the princess. It was different from the Shirley who had a mum that was a witch. This is another princess. Anyway. Shirley... The princess didn't know how to ride a horse. And so her dad, the king, called the knights and said, Listen, knights, I know that princesses shouldn't be riding a horse, but it's my daughter and I'm the king, so I'm just going to let her have a horse. And it's an old one, and it's been a good horse, and it's helped our knights fight the dragons. And so I think you'll all agree with me that She's probably the best one to look after this horse. Otherwise, it might go to some dog food or something like that. The horse's eyes and ears pricked up. What was that about dog food? Never mind. So I want you knights to teach my daughter, the princess, how to ride a horse. And so the knights taught the princess over about three weekends, maybe four, how to ride a horse. And she learned very, very quickly because it usually takes a night at least six months. Anyway, she learned to ride a horse very, very quickly and she even asked how could she fight a dragon on a horse. And so they told her about it but they didn't teach her about it because the horse was too old. And that is a story about how a princess whose name is Shirley, got a horse when she was 12, after asking for 12 years. And she was the first princess to start riding horses. And in fact, she opened up her own horse school and started to teach other little girls how to ride horses. That was a nice story, wasn't it? The end. <laughs>